Hey yo, this is Fresh Glacier. We're back with the Protect One. This is chapter 37. Let's continue the series. Yes. The room was I had I felt so helpless. I raced back to my building as fast as I could and will well already pulled the security for the chandelier right in front of me was probably reforcing him both riding camera into the car. I felt sick to my stomach watching the, the fear in both of her eyes when he pressed a gun to the side of Cameron's head. She thought he was going to kill her and he very well might. How the fuck could he... How the fuck could this have happened? Will bark at our tech guy. It was calming to my phone trying to figure out how a text was sent instructing Kim to go downstairs. It had been hacked somehow and he and she thought she was meeting me down there. We're working on it now. He said it's an extremely high level of hacking. It could have some it, it could have come from the police department or even from someone on state staff. All we know is someone helped Robbie send that message. And that message. I ran my fingers to my hair and paced back and forth. And paced back and forth. I've already been by their house and any other place I could think of that he might have taken them. His his sort his resources were in this though, and it might like searching for a needle in a haystack. But then the Evans were working on it, but they. But there was only so much they could do without sounding the alarm. Balls. Sounding the alarm bells. And then we would have to explain that Ken and Riley were actually alive all this time. Basically, I was on my own, and so far, I was I was fairly miserable. I spent the better part of the last few months sorrowing to her. I would never let him near him again, and somehow I let them right into a trap. That's all this was from the beginning. Rory used me as his alibi to get us into town, and then his plan unfolded. He knew he could get a mistrial call, and knew the judge would grant him bail. It was absolutely disgusting how this guy was able to get away with his shit. When I finally got my hands on him, I will, will relish in every second of making him hurt and feel just as scared and worthless as he'd made Cam, Cam feel. I only hope I would find him soon enough. Derek, we're going to find him, find him, okay? Will try to assure me. Will try to assure me. You're probably terrified. I bit my lip, biting, biting back my own emotions. I could only imagine that was going through Cam's mind right now, and that I couldn't be there to calm her was that be irritating. She might be dead because I hadn't been able. To to keep my promise to her. I called Cole. He is going to come with us just in case. But I was taking charge and trying to keep me fo focused here. Now wasn't the time to lose sight of what was important. I could make it up to Karen if I could just bring them home safely. That was a big if. Harry was on hinge and he had my girls. They were in incredible danger and there was no telling what he might do if he felt desperate or concerned. I only had them a few short months, nowhere near long enough. I was planning a day for them and now suddenly the carpet was ripped out from underneath us. My life didn't even make sense anymore without Cam and Riley in it. Where do we start? I said, ready to get to work. I was no use to either of, of them. If I let my emotion get the best of me right now, I had to stay focused. When Rory finally left me alone, I was crumpled up in a mess on the floor. He hadn't taken it easy on me for our first altercation in months. 
My thoughts were in shambles and I, and I was a bloody mess. My entire body felt like it might fall apart if I moved the wrong way. He kicked and punched and trashed me around like a ragdoll until I almost begged him to kill me. I couldn't talk. I couldn't stand. I, 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 I could hardly breathe. And I knew he was just getting started. I had no idea where he gone or when he would be back. Just that I was locked in his room with no way of getting out. They say jumping out of the third story window. I was in so much pain that for a second I, I contemplated it. I quickly pushed those thoughts out of my mind though. I had to stay strong for Riley. She was somewhere in this, this house and I hope and pray he wasn't going he wasn't hurting her. I was completely helpless, just the way he liked me. He ripped my clothes to to shreds, so I had searched the closet for a t-shirt. I, I could at least cover myself up with. I slipped it on and then laid down on the, on the bed as carefully as I could and saw. Just two hours ago, Riley and I were safe inside Derek's apartment. God, how quickly things had changed. I was so stupid to fall for the text. It came from his phone, but I knew Derek used to the call. I should have waited for him. I should have waited it or asked him to come upstairs instead of serving myself and my daughter up on his silver rope ladder for the absolute monster. I heard the knock on the door turn and was surprised to see my mother-in-law walked in. She didn't say a word but walked toward me on the bed and handed me two ten pills and, and a glass of water. Here, she said, thrusting them towards me and I hesitated. This will help with the pain. Where's Ready? I asked my voice hoarse. I took them from her, making sure they were really pink ears, and then swallowed them. She she was said, Rabbi won't lay a hand on her. I won't let him, she said, frowning. But you will let him do this one? But you will let him do this to me? I let out a sharp laugh. You guys are disgusting. You're no better than him, and if you think you're going to get away with, with this, Cam, Cameron, I think I learned a long time ago that people like saying Rabbi can be stopped. It's best to not get in the way. It's, it would it would do you well to learn that too. I died before I ever be with your son again. I snapped. I wasn't the same completely broken and better woman I was before. Being with Derek had given me a, a new sense of confidence. And I wasn't about to let Rabbi or his parents beat me into complete sum submission again. He looked at me with sympathy and then turned away. You should have stayed away when you had the chance. So uh, she got slowly headed for the door. I'll bring you something to eat a little, a little, a little later. I was speechless as she walked into the hallway and then Ravi appeared. What the fuck are you doing? You nearly killed her. Ravi, I brought her some painkillers and water, he said. You think I care? I know I nearly killed her. Bitch deserve it and much worse. You're just the worst this as she is. Never heard Rory speak to his mother that way, and it cut me off guard. I never noticed it before, but his mom was was in the same position as I but his mom was in the same position I was said and now her son she did her the same way. If I and I are going away for a few days, I won't want I want this mess cleaned up and out of my house by then, she said, dancing back one more time over her shoulder. Ravi Snickers and then came into the room. Glad to see you got some of your energy back. It's really not as fun when you don't fight back. You know I've always liked your spicy side, Cam. What, what do you want, Ravi? I said, you want to kill me? Is that it? Well, would that make you happy? He wore his eyes. I want you to suffer like I like I have, Karen. For months, I've been living in a shitty jail cell on, on trial for your murder. And you've been 
girls eventing around Canada with your boyfriend. Every day I, I was married to you, I suffered. I suffered, Ravi. As I immediately regretting it, I may have had my confidence back, but I had quickly forgotten how important it was to bite my tongue ar around him. I was like, oh, me backwards onto the bed. Tell me what is it that Derek does for you that I don't. I'm sorry, I didn't mean my cheeks cut the palm of Ravi's hand. Shut the fuck up. Unless I ask you to speak, he ripped the, the front of my shirt, exposing my bruised body to him again. His hands felt like sandpaper on my skin. Did he touch your hair, Cam? Tears streamed down my cheeks as his teeth marked all over my body. I squeezed my eyes shut, trying to pretend I was anywhere but here. After what seems like an eternity, Rory pulled himself off of me and staggered backwards. I gave you a little of time to rest, but when I come back, I'm going to fuck you so hard you will never ever question who you belong to again. I hope that bastard was worth it. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Come on, guys. Take care.